Okay, it's October 17th. It's an evening evening sit. I just got in here and I hung this new stand. I'm going after the shed buck again. I'm thinking he might come in right behind me here. So I don't have much room for a shot. But this is the only tree I could get my stand up in. So it's going to have to work. I came out last night and I... uh did an observation set on this field and I seen where he was coming out into the field so today I hung this stand and got her set up and yeah we'll see see what happens hopefully he comes through again let's rewind back to October 16th during my observation sit I had pulled up and I'm just sitting in my pickup overlooking this rye field and I wasn't there very long and those three does came walking out right in front of my pickup and following them was the big six and he was a little bit nervous seeing my pickup there but the does had no problem walking right out in front of me about 20 yards away the big six checked me out for a little while made sure everything was all right and then he made his way over towards the does where he started to chase one of the does around out in the field. Now at last light, I did see the shed buck. He was at the far end of the field from where I was sitting during the observation sit. So I had two plans in mind to either hang a stand where I am right here, because I think he came down through this trail that night, or I could set up my ground blind across the field straight out from here along the edge to where he went to to feed kind of where the green is and as you can see I chose to put my tree stand up instead and if you're new to the channel and you're wondering who's the shed buck that I'm talking about it's this deer right here that I had have seen three times at this point and the day of this video I got within 33 yards of him and didn't get a shot at him because of a tree being in the way. So back to the hunt on October 17th. I'm up in my tree stand and I was there for roughly a half hour before all these turkeys came passing by me. And they were just feeding around out in the rye field, probably eating some of those weed seeds before they were heading back to the trees to roost for the night.
15 minutes after the turkeys had cleared the field, I had two does and one fawn come out onto a little two acre alfalfa plot to the right of me. I went a while without seeing much for activity and it was starting to get later in the evening and the sun was going down and I had about a half hour left and this little buck showed up underneath the tree stand and he happened to come down the trail that I was hoping the shed buck would come down and I was still thinking that the shed buck might show up before it got dark because there was still a little bit of time left. The little buck hung out underneath my stand for quite some time until some does at the other corner of the field caught his eye and he decided to go walk over there and check them out. The hunt for this evening sit was pretty much over at this point but I knew it had to be just a matter of time before the shed buck would come back by the same trail that he did the day before. So. In my next video I'm coming back to the same tree stand and I do find the shed buck again to have my fourth encounter with him. So stay tuned. <laughs>